Hey everybody, I am your host a lot. Today I'm reporting to you from downtown New York City at the People's Medical Freedom Rally. Let's go talk to some rally goers, see what's going on. Can you tell me a little bit more about why you're out here and what your sign means? We will not comply because we have a constitution. Absolutely. I know that we had these mandates be put in place recently to say that in a month or so we're going to have to show status to get into restaurants and gyms and things like that. What do you make of that? I will not comply because I've been working in a hospital like since December in a COVID lab and I will not use masks. No, I will not comply. You said you work in a hospital. Yes. Are they mandating this for the hospitals as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what are you going to do? Are you going to still work at the hospital? I don't know, but I will not comply. Okay. So if they require it, you would end up leaving your job? Wait for them to fire me, but no. Is there anything that the government or the FDA could do to make you feel as though the vaccine is safe? They don't know the answers. They don't know the answers. It's on their emergency, you know? Yeah. Emergency. Let's say the FDA did approve it. Would you feel comfortable taking that vaccine if the FDA approved it? No. No. Okay. Um, no MRI. And I had kind of one last question on this. A lot of our leaders supposedly took the vaccine. Donald Trump supposedly took the vaccine. Joe Biden supposedly took it, Kamala Harris. What do you make of our politicians getting the Do you believe that they actually did? No. No, you they don't didn't. They actually no, did. of course not. Yeah, show us proof. Show us proof. Well, they had the needles going to the arms. I know we've seen some on TV. You don't believe those? There's a lot of stuff we've seen on TV and still don't believe. Any chance I could ask you about your art? Sure, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I've been seeing some of these on the subway. Yeah. Uh, I like to repurpose things, you know. Yeah. It's, I mean, I, like I, I'll, I'll take them down, but I like to put them back up with a little message. It gives me more time to you know, think about stuff. And can you explain to me what's going on here? Well, we have a slave here with a mask, another slave with a mask, another slave with a mask. <laughs> this one says F de Blasio. Why? Why does that mask say that? Well, you know, lots of these masks have cool little uh, designs on them. Actually. I had a woman on the subway take out a second mask because of me, because I wasn't wearing one, and it matched her backpack. <laughs> it was all like this GC Kutch here, whatever. You know what? Would you be down to wear a mask that said F de Blasio on it? Uh, I'd wear it as a thong, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Why we're out here today, we're getting that mayor in that building to know that every New Yorker has a right to choose whether they want the vaccine or not. This isn't an anti-vax rally, this isn't a pro-vax. Rally. This is a rally to say that everybody can choose what they want to do. As an American citizen and living in this city, we choose what we want to do. Either take the vaccine, great. Don't take the vaccine, great. But that guy has no right to tell us that we have to or not. Bill de Blasio last week was talking about this mandate that he was going to put in next month, saying that bars and restaurants and gyms will require that you show proof of status to get inside. What do you make of that? You know what I think of? The only thing I think of, I go back to World War II Germany. Show me your papers. Sure. Do you think that's an apt comparison? I would think so, because if, you know, why should the government know? Why should he know who's vaccinated not? Why should we be restricted if we're not vaccinated? Why should we be treated as a diseased people? Mm -hmm. Not to go into restaurants, bars. As he said himself the other day in his press conference, you are not going to be able to participate in our society. You are already separating the from the unvaccinated, everybody against each other. It's not right. It's got to stop. Everybody needs their freedom. New York was one of the hardest hit um, states um, in the country. Bill de Blasio says he's trying to save people's lives with, these, with this mandate. Do you think that's why he's putting this mandate in place? No, not at all. Not at all. And why do you think he's saying that then? We all are asking that question. That's why we're here now. Uh, can I ask, are you... No. And is there something that maybe the CDC or or somebody you look up to could do or say to convince you to take it? What, what's stopping you? A lot of personal reasons, religious reasons, you know. Just nobody's going to persuade me otherwise. Sure. And all I'm asking for is my freedom in this city to participate in this society. Yeah. 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 Up, up. Excuse me, bro. Any chance I could ask you about your sign? Uh, any chance I could ask you about your sign? It says, it's Zuby, it's a tweet from Zuby that said, this new sick until proven healthy mentality is a sickness in and of itself. Can you tell me a little bit more about what you came out today? It's another sign of a picture of a guy that says, if we all just accept a medical surveillance state, we can get back to normal. Can you tell me a little bit more about why you have this sign out here? All right, thank you. 
I'm out here because uh, I believe in choice and informed consent. Informed consent includes the ability to uh, to deny certain medical procedures without fear of any repercussions. We live in the center of the universe, New York City. The Statue of Liberty out here, and yet we're gonna have to show papers to go into a restaurant. This is frightening, and it's obvious that people haven't learned about the history of the Holocaust in Nazi Germany. This is exactly how it started. Show us your papers. Yeah, I mean, you're saying that's exactly how it started. What do you think the next thing that the government will try to do to un people? Where do, where do you think this is heading? I think that they'll like segregate. I think they'll continue to segregate, deny us the ability to work, um, possibly the ability to hold professional licenses. That's a concern for a lot of health care providers who sure. are choosing not to take the for whatever reasons. I think... You, let me... On the specifically, do you feel as though it is unsafe? I feel that it might be unsafe for certain people. I feel it could be uh, beneficial for other people to take it. I feel it's a decision that needs to be made by the individual and his or her doctor. Have you been vaccinated, if you don't mind me asking? I am not vaccinated for COVID, no. Okay. Is there something like the FDA or CDC could do to convince you to get vaccinated? What would the condition need to be for you to get vaccinated? I am not going to take the vaccine at this time because I feel for me the risks outweigh the benefits. And um, I also am opposed to vaccines for myself and my children because they uh, they go against my religious beliefs. Many doctors say that the benefits do outweigh the risks. Um, as I understand, there have been like almost one or two cases only of people who have been vaccinated that did die of COVID. Nowadays, the people who die of COVID are those who are unvaccinated. Does that, no? No, okay. no I don't believe that that's the case. Okay. I, I am a doctor of chiropractic, trained exactly like M medical doctors that are telling Your chiropractors you- chiropractors aren't the same as medical doctors. Well, actually, you have the same training in microbiology and immunology, anatomy and physiology, if not more so. Okay, interesting. Okay, yes, so you should look that up. Yeah, I will. Yes, you should look that okay. up. No, but I'll also look up because I was told that only unvaccinated people are the ones who are dying of COVID. Have you heard that and what do you make of that? I've heard that and I've heard the opposite. Okay. Um, I don't know. It does not change my opinion because I believe that you yes. should be able to make that decision for yourself. Definitely. You and your children. If you want to take it, if you feel that it's going to help you rest your head on the pillow at night, you should take it. If the politicians would, what was doing what we want, we wouldn't be out here if that is what was going on. And, um, you know, um, I'm not against vaccines, but I am against the forced inoculation and what's going on. I mean... Have you been vaccinated? No, I haven't. Do you think the vaccine is safe? Um, I don't think so, but um, even though with that being said, I, I still think people should have the right to have the choice. Like, whatever happened to the saying, my body, my choice, you know? Absolutely. I felt like that disappeared, and when it comes to the vaccines, they just do that whole saying away. And what would the conditions need to be for you to feel comfortable getting the vaccine? Is it FDA approval? Is it your role models maybe getting vaccinated? What is it? Uh, the long-term data. You know, um, I, I say it's unsafe and people who took the vaccine will tell me, oh, I took it. Look, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. And then when I tell them is, well, come back to me in the next two to three years and let me know how you still feel, okay. you know? And after that time and I see how things are going, then I would be able to be accepted. I see you're wearing a New York for Trump hat. Yeah. Um, Trump has kind of indicated, has hinted that he's gotten the vaccine. Does that make you feel any more confident or not confident in the vaccines? No, I mean, um, I, even if Trump was to come out and say, I will take the vaccine. Um, yeah. He says he did, or he implied strongly that he's been vaccinated. Well, yeah, see, Trump doesn't have a degree in, uh, you know, virology or sure. vaccination. So I wouldn't take his word on it, you okay. know. And um, I, I would love for uh, scientists and doctors to come out in numbers like this to tell people to take the vaccine. But I haven't seen that energy yet. From OK, scientists. so if there was like a crowd of scientists saying to take the vaccine, would that make you comfortable? Yeah, that, that would probably persuade me a little bit more. But I just haven't seen that energy from, you know, scientists. Not that stuff. I have great admiration for the CDC or FDA, but those groups have a ton of doctors in them that are yeah. saying that these vaccines are overwhelmingly safe. It's a minority of doctors who are saying that they're unsafe. So, I mean, there are a group of doctors saying it's safe. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I don't have nothing to say about that, but all I have to say is uh, everybody has their right to, yes. you know, research their own information and to choose the propaganda that they want to intake, whether it's left or right. You know, you have the right to choose your propaganda. And um, I'm going to just say and end it with this that Alex Jones is right, man. I see you have a sign that says, My Body, My Choice. Can you tell me more about your sign? Um, it's self-explanatory, my body, my choice. Okay, cool. Um, I know many people usually say this about abortion. You're using it to talk about um, vaccine status. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? If I'm not pro-vaccine, but if you choose to do it, you have the right to do it. If you choose not to do it, then you, don't, you shouldn't have to be obligated to do it. It should not be mandated at all. Do you think the vaccines are safe? This one, absolutely not. But that's my opinion. Yeah. And why don't you think it's safe? Because like he just said, it's, it's, they're still researching it. It's not proven that it's effective at all, and it's not FDA approved. What would it take for you to believe that the vaccine is safe, if anything? I wouldn't. There's nothing that anybody could do to make you believe that the vaccine is safe? I know a minute ago you said that the FDA didn't approve it. Right. Let's say the FDA they used it. Yeah. I think they're, they're obligated to, if they did. So let's say the FDA approved it. Would you trust the vaccine then? No, I wouldn't. I know supposedly Trump took the vaccine and also Joe Biden took the vaccine. Do you believe that? No, I don't. Okay. So it's been a lot of interesting different things. Bill de Blasio says he's trying to save people by giving this vaccine out to people. Right. What do you think about that argument that he's trying to save people? I think he's trying to do the opposite. I think he's trying to kill people. I see you have a hat over here. It says... Nazi, Biden, no de Blasio, G-Pass. Uh, it's a star of David. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? G-Mask, G it's, a, it's a green mask. It's, yeah. against, it's against freedom, what's happening. And I'm uh, the witness how people lose their freedom. I'm 45 years as I escaped from Soviet Union. I know what a value of a freedom. I, 45 years ago, I was kissing this ground when I arrived to the United States. I was happy as a, as a hell. I escaped tyranny, communism. That's what we're all against it. Do you think you're seeing tyranny now here in the United States? Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. It's uh, intimidation. It's uh, mis misinformation, disinformation. It's not about physical. It's about mental control because you control mentally you control body you control everything that's what is happening people that's what's happened in soviet union total intimidation and total misinformation which people just lost and they give up they give up because everyone wants to leave and they say why do i have to get involved because if you're not involved then they're going to have to have you. It will be not enough. It will be not enough. Mask, not enough. Vaccine. Vaccination is not enough. Freedom of speech is not enough. You can't say things. You're going to be beaten up. Let me ask you. Sure. I'm sorry. I have it's a okay. Game. It's okay. Yeah. I'll speak loudly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have the Star of David. Yes. It's kind of hinting like they're Nazis. Do you think it's a good comparison to call, con, like compare Bill de Blasio to Nazi Germany? Is that a well, good comparison? Well, well, number one is uh, what inspired me is that a mayor of New York cannot dislike himself, can, cannot call himself Warren Valheim. This, this is so, ups, you know, representative who he is. Billy is not a name. So he is a Kaiser Valheim. It's a historical figure who oppress people. He classified to be a Nazi because he dictates. Having a green pass means that you have to prove something, who you are. That's what Jews in 1938 was asked to put on. I'm Jewish, but it has nothing to do with doing Jewish. It's about taking away your freedom, branding you. It's a branding you. You're deplorable. It doesn't matter what it is. I am proud deplorable. <laughs> I've been deplorable in the Soviet Union, and I'm proud deplorable. I'm refusing it. And I'm so happy to see a lot of young people. It's a great vitamin D to me today. It's inspirational. America is not dead yet. I was 
and I'm not afraid to say it. On uh, January 6th, I was in the front of Congress, right there, right there, peacefully protesting. And people being arrested like in the Soviet Union for expressing their thought. I've been in the Congress three times over the years, coming to my representative offices, protesting their policies. They're supposed to listen to us. We are the people. That's the whole thing of a constitution. We are the people. It's our power. Not mayor, not criminal coma, not mental cripple Biden. Nobody, nobody. Nobody can tell me what can I have. Nobody. That's Soviet Union when they're telling you what to do, what to eat, how to act, how to dress, what to say, and how to sleep and where. No. They can cuff me now. I'm not giving up. We're out here downtown New York City to protest. Your sign says, when tyranny becomes law, rebellion becomes duty. Can you tell me a little bit more about why you're out here and what the sign means? Well, I'm actually out here because I'm fighting for humanity. Um, pretty much, I have a child, and whatever decisions and whatever decisions we make right now, and what it is that we don't stand for, our children and the many future generations will pay for. If we continue to let them take away our rights, we will eventually have none. So I'm fighting for the many generations to come. Pretty much, this fight actually has nothing to do with me, it's for our children. I, as, I understand next month um, the mandate will go into effect that Bill de Blasio said you'll have to show vaccine status to go into bars, restaurants, gyms and things like that. Why do you think he's doing that? Oh, um, because he thinks that, you know, the people want to continue to fit in with society, I guess. Um, pretty much that's what's going on. Uh, I, I have no problem with um, staying home and saving money. <laughs> I actually look forward to it. Um, it actually brings us closer to our family and it allows us to be more grateful for what it is that we do have and we actually realize that more. So if that, I wanted to ask, if that tyranny is becoming law now and then rebellion is duty, how should people who aren't vaccinated respond to these new mandates, oh. obviously besides protesting? Yeah, we have to boycott these businesses. Um, pretty much do not participate in any of it. Um, do not support it. Support independent businesses, um, mom and pop stores, you know, the community, in the community. This is actually a time where we have to go out within our community and begin building our own systems if need be because um maybe it that that's what that's that's pretty much where we're at yeah. it, it's time for us to begin building our own systems where we are self-sustainable and we're not dependent on the government because that's what the problem is the people are too dependent on the government yeah. you know um they can't survive without them and they know that so that's why this is going on i had one last question i wanted to ask you um a lot of our country is actually vaccinated but the two groups that are the least vaccinated in our country are republicans and people of color. Why do you think that those two groups are the groups that are the least vaccinated? Why? Um, to be honest, I feel like it has a lot to do with education. Um, a lot of people are uneducated in certain areas, um, certain topics, that maybe that's probably another issue. People need to become more knowledgeable about these things because knowledge is power. So that that's another problem. Is it the well-educated or not educated that you think are not educated are getting vaccinated? Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode. Let me know what you thought of the video down in the comments. If this is your first time here, guys, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay barely informed.